I'm at Shaolin Temple and uh, the noise you hear in the background is a wedding and I hope they got to know each other before the wedding because after that much noise they're not going to be able to hear each other again for the rest of their lives which could be a benefit. Here another totally unpainted, or I mean unrestored, temple building. I want to get some more detail off this one. Here I think we can see a dragon. Certainly at the top here we can see a real pronounced dragon. What's kind of cool about seeing these is that the others that are restored may not be restored original paintings, but may be brand new ones. These are probably bowls with lotus flowers in them. So much deterioration we can't really see, but that looks like the bird that you see in the parks in Beijing. What these look like, believe it or not, are coal pellets. I'm just guessing. And I'm guessing that's some kind of coal compressed into pellets that will burn easily. And you can see the stuff, it looks like coal, but it's some powdery stuff. Get some of the detail on the temple. Roof structure above that many-armed Buddha. These are four gods, I think or else some kind of specific Buddha. So covered with grime, it's amazing. But at least it's there to be restored in the future. Poking my camera inside this building, it looks like it's a setup for firefighters, in case there should be a fire here. A critical concern for such a temple with so much wood. Here are a couple of lions, a little bit damaged from the culture revolution. Top of this temple building is interesting because of the floral display, which looks like it has been restored. So we'll shoot up there with a the telephoto lens and take a look at it. The dragon. Nice detail in 3D on this. In other words, depth. Now it's interesting looking at the building that we initially looked at, but from the other side, which is its face, is directly opposite the one I just videoed. The detail here is somewhat different. The flowers, yes somewhat different, but then lots of dragons.
here we're in the next, I suspect, maybe the major courtyard, uh, if there is such a distinction to be made. <coughs> There's another tree, which I think they're calling a pagoda tree, which is curious to me. Um, different than the religious tree that you find at major high temples, that's a big, tall, thick tree. This roof looks unrestored. We'll take a closer look at it. Looks floral, yep, 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 yep. Doesn't seem to be any dragons present. I don't know why this angle creates such a, what, from the camera's viewpoint, a haze. It certainly is a complex design, isn't it? And yet it somehow supports that all the way out. Now we're at the back temple. We'll take a little bit of look there and then climb up on the wall. It must have been something at the time when they used to open up all of these panels and everything was fresh and new whenever that was. Several hundred years ago, I suspect. This is probably the abode of the caretaker. Modern caretaker. And an interesting old building. Here we get a unique insight into how they make this roof design. Somewhat like the wheels if those steel nails are any example. It's interesting that a temple should have a wall design that's defensive. I wonder if that was a realistic need or just a stylistic uh, con continuity with the Great Wall. And this is a dry climate, become drier over the last number of decades apparently. Why we don't have the same lushness here and why they grow corn and wheat and principally and no rice. Near the temple garden. Eggplant. Not sure I've ever seen eggplant. Plant. Nor an eggplant planted. Nor an eggplant plant planted. Here a very close up look at roof tile installation. This wall behind it, this small wall behind it, makes a nice uh, offset or backdrop, if you will, for the more decorative tiles in the front. Looks like folks take things away from the wedding. Perhaps gifts in reverse. That must be the entry lane for the bride and groom, or else just a photographic opportunity. Sight. Looked like lots of food being trucked in there earlier by tray. Hopefully their life will be blessed. They perhaps come from a family wealthy enough to throw such a party. This is the drum tower that I didn't look at on the opposite side of this temple building hall here will be the uh, uh, bell tower. These little helmet type the details I haven't seen before.